So guys, we're gonna go in Islands of Adventure first, and then hopefully take the Hogwarts Express to Universal. But there is a lot of people here today, so we're gonna see how that all plays out. He doesn't know that. We haven't even been inside yet. <laughs> well, there's a lot of people that you can see right now. So, because we're out in public. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get at least a minute or more video, ow, <laughs> minute or more video in each little section, which is Jurassic Park. Ah, stop it. This is Jurassic Park, Harry Potter, Seuss Landing, stuff like that. I can. The adventure has begun. Wait, no, it hasn't begun yet. It's only begun when I've seen the monkey that you can ride on. Where is he? Where's the monkey? Ah, oh, wait, no, oh, there he is. This is my monkey right here. You ready for this? Ready for this? Excuse me. Look at that monkey. Look at that. Look at that monkey. Look at that beautimous, very majestic castle. Oh wait, no, we're going this way. Yes, the Hulk. Let's go. Tell him what ride we're going on. Spider-Man. Yeah. Let's go. If you guys know who he is, write it in the comments. I'm not a superhero kind of guy. Oh dang it, Spider-Man's 55 minutes. I feel like I'm in a nightclub. Look at this. Single riders open on Spider-Man. This never happens. It was a 55 minute wait and look at that. No wait for single rider. Oh wait, no I lied, but oh no, there is no wait for single rider. Yeah, we're going on Spider-Man. You guys a quick overview of Marvel City, I guess it's called. And a cool fact, the artist that made all of these, all the superheroes, uh, was not allowed to sign his work. So it's hidden in like the superheroes' muscles or their hands and stuff like that. Just Inconspicuous. Look at that. Look at the theme park bee. I know. Where did he go? Hey, we're in Jurassic Park. No, I'm just kidding. We're in Skull Island. It's a very small section of the park, but it's the only place on Florida on mountains. No, but now. Pew, 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 at me and we're here. That place wants you to think they have rotisserie chicken, but they actually have rotisserie dinosaur. <laughs> Look at that. That's where all the dinosaurs are held. And they're all real. I guarantee you all the dinosaurs here are real. Let's explore. See so you have some dinosaur chips. You have some dinosaur garbage cans. You have some dinosaur roller coasters. And the best part, the dinosaur rock climbing wall right over there. Right, whoa, whoa, bro. Right there. There's the dinosaur roller coaster with a five minute wait, but I'm not gonna go on it because I'm gonna get wet. Tell them what we're about to meet. SpongeBob. <laughs> Look at that angry Tyrannosaurus Rex. Come on, let's go. Here we go. We're in the Discovery Center. Let's do this. So, the Discovery Center is based around the movie. I, no, I'm sorry. I'm not going to ruin the magic. So, this stuff is all real, 100% genuine. They found it in the earth. Oh, no. Check it. There's a thing hatching. Oh, I think there's a dinosaur hat. <gasps> Look how cute it is! Look! Look at that thing! We have to go meet that. Let's go sit. Come here. 
Whoops. Um, I'm having a little bit elevated. Do you guys have to have a patch or anything? Oh my goodness. Yeah. So cute. Uh, I have a little to do with the thing. See, I'm trying because that makes me nervous. And all of these wonderful new faces probably have a little excited. You know she loves new people. So we'll try it out to their feet now. Thank you, okay? Can you do that? Go right ahead. Just give her a nice sound cut. There you go. Now, last but not least, we will be checking her vision. No However, her eyes are severely dilated. Is there anything useful in her pen? Oh, poor dinosaur. All right. There you go. Now, you're going to wiggle her around in front of her. Just like that. And then let's lift it up. And down. And then side to side. There you go, perfect. Hey, what's your name, good sir? I'm going to be the oldest kid out there. I'm going to walk out there. I'm going to keep her busy. Like, I like I'm going to go stand away. This is the issue. She likes to kick. So when I say three, I... Two, one, two, three. Now, this is a little bit different. Poor baby. I call her herbivore, meaning she eats plants. Currently, she's on a heavy diet full of cetaceous and all forms and health costs, which are very high in fiber and some of the other nutrients. So, right. yeah. Hi. Hi. Thank you. over to the nursery window for a once in a lifetime experience. Now has anybody observed any of these eggs moving? Now look at this one right here. Yeah, look at all those cracks. Now we may not have very much time. Welcome to the Discovery Center. My name is Dr. Moriarty. And as one of the veterinarians here in the Central Nursery, I encourage you to stick around for the next couple of minutes. Because if you do so, you're sure to witness one of the smallest yet greatest wonders here in the park the birth of a living, breathing baby dinosaur. Now, if there's any small children back there, make sure they get all the way up to the front by the glass window so they get a real good view, okay? And if any more little ones show up later on, let them come to the front as well. Now, this hatching chamber has just alerted us to an IHE. That is an imminent hatching event. And I assure you, you do not want to miss one of these. And once again, this little girl right here, that is the one to keep your eyes on. Now they say Jurassic Park is an adventure 65 million years, years ago. Oh, okay. But here in the nursery, sometimes our adventures can take just a matter of seconds. Oh, you hear that cracking sound? Oh, look, it's moving. Yeah, she's getting ready to push out of there. Come on, don't stop now. You're almost there. A little more. Keep pushing. Oh, focus. You can do it. Right. Say hello to the world baby dinosaur. Wow, pretty spectacular, huh? You guys are seeing something which has not occurred in nature in more than uh, 80, 80 million years. Uh -huh. Does anybody know what kind of dinosaur this is? Well, thank you, a Velociraptor. Try to believe it, but that little girl will grow into a raptor, one of the most dangerous predators here in the park. I'm gonna name this. Watch me. <laughs> Now, this little girl, oh, okay, okay, now. This, what can I quickly tell you about Velociraptors? Now, they are part of the dinosaur group, most closely related to the birds. They do lay eggs, around two pounds. Now, the eggs can be around 90 days before hatching. They're born fully formed, just like little miniature adults. They even have tiny teeth and claws, which is what I try to avoid, getting my uh, fingers in front of her. Okay, little girl, I'm going to pick you up there, okay? I need you to be a good girl. That means no biting, okay? No biting. Okay, look over this way. Now, they mature quite rapidly. They become adults in about a year. But they still need to be cared for until they're big enough to join their pack. As a matter of fact, that is our greatest challenge here. We we'll introduce them quickly to the other raptors, but not until they're ready to hold their own. Now this little girl has gotten out to a really good start. And speaking of good starts, it's become something of a tradition. Anytime we have a hatching, 
to our guests, all of you guys, first crack at naming her. Who wants to name this baby dinosaur? What do you want to call her? Jen. Okay, in just a minute, I'll take this little girl away. Now, if anybody has any questions, I'll have to see any of our other discovery guys. Now, we are not exactly paleobiologists, but we will attempt to answer what we can. Okay, let's Bring go. Bring out my new little friend, and I will hand him over the This is the best day ever. I just named a dinosaur and I got to keep its birth certificate. And I named it after Jen Tracker. Thank you, Jen. And you're welcome, Jen. Wow, this day just keeps getting better and better. I've done a lot of things at Universal, but that makes it high on my list. Did you see that thing? Still in Jurassic Park. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I'm kidding, we're in Harry Potter. Jurassic Park's back there. See, wasn't that an amazing transition? I just had to get that on film. We're not exactly sure, but today might be the first day of the new castle projection cell, which is, there's the castle. So if you go right over here, so there's the projection booth right there, and then there's the castle. So we came during Christmas, and I didn't actually get to film, but... The projection show was an awful mess. It was backed up all the way into Seuss Landing and into the um, Forbidden, uh, the Lost Continent. It was insane. What? So, anyway, pro go off to the side. We're in the we're in the way here. If you're going on Forbidden Journey and doing single rider, don't wait in the front line. Go through the exit and go through Filch's Emporium to the walkers. Also, I would always suggest taking your phone because I have been stuck on Forbidden Journey for a really long time, multiple times. But also with you small children who really don't mind waiting in line, I would go through the front line. There's a lot of cool effects. It snows sometimes. So it just really depends on what you want to get done and how much you want to get done. See, I told you we are going to do tips. I bet you never thought we would, but we did. And another tip is um, Hogsmeade is the huge bottleneck of the park. It's insane trying to walk through this. Don't get your butterbeer here. Wait yeah. until Diagon Alley. Yeah. Like, okay, so the wait time's 30 minutes, but we're going to go through Single Rider. So this is where we're talking about. This is the exit, Filch's Emporium. So this is a store, and the ride exits right into it. So, wow, it's usually a lot more crowded than this. But also, every ride at Universal, you have to get a locker. They are free, but they can be hard to get them sometimes. Like, look, look at this. This is the locker area. I'm gonna fill, stop. We survived, and we retrieved our stuff. So the lockers are free, but they can be a pain, but you have to have them, so they're good to have. I don't know what I'm trying to say. This is the reason to wait to get your butter beer. There's the stand. There's the end of the line, right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. See, I told you, it's the bottleneck of the park. I guess. Even on a not crowded day, it's like this. So guys, this place is a nice place to rest, just get some shade. And if you're here, the actual ones over here, that's just a photo op, it's a lie. Bottleneck. Like, this has to be the worst bottleneck in the park. Look at that. It's an arch that only lets like a hundred people through at a time. Here we go. Ready for this transition? Okay, there's Hogsmeade Station. And then this transition is about to be amazing. You ready? I'm gonna cover your eyes. Well, bam, I'm in a lost continent. Can you put my wand away, Zan? Here we are, the lost continent. It's a very weird section of the park that, in um, my opinion, should be demolished. But I guess some people like it. It just makes no sense. There's a shish kebab stand. And if you go right over here, right in here, it's a night store. I understand, are we in Eastern Europe? Or Eastern, or Middle East? Like, look, night stuff. Look, night. Fire Eaters is good. <laughs> she said it. <laughs> it's good. That restaurant right there is actually one of the best theme park restaurants in the world. 
It's a sit-down place. We've never been. I'm pretty sure it's kind of expensive. Oh, and then this guy, not him. There's Magical Theme Park Ducks right over here. The Great Puking... Hold on. Turn down the brightness. The Great Puking Man. You probably won't see him. Poseidon Fury. It's, it's a walkthrough attraction. It's okay. It's a little cheesy, but I would recommend going in it. Theme Park Update 101. That thing is on fire. Here we are, Seuss Landing. I'm sorry, I didn't film that transition. It's not the best transition. What? Okay. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go look at the cotton candy dudes. Can you take my picture, please? Hold on. No. So right in here is something magical and full of wonder. Yes, that's right. Giant cotton candy. Look at that. You can get Oreos, rainbow sprinkles, rock candy, M&Ms, marshmallows, and chocolate sprinkles mixed in with it. I've been wanting to get one, but. I know, I'm just too lazy. Look! It's my friends. Only three of them, though. I have a lot more than that. I'm writing Cat in the Hat to embrace my inner child. Well, I can't film the ride, but I can film the queue. It, it tells you the story. I'm not going to film the ride, Zan. I'm not going to get kicked out of Universal. Enjoy the music. So guys, if you have small children, there is places for you to go. Like the area that I'm in right now. It's in Seuss Landing. It's towards the end, towards the front of the park. But there's a lot of stuff to do. Zan, let's go in here. There he is. Ah, uh, why does that exist? <laughs> let's go over here. I went to the Africa, African island of Yurka. To find me a tipple top truffle. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I almost ruined my camera, which is actually just a phone. Sir, camera here for fun picture. What? What is it? Oh, that's cool. I don't know. Let's go in this cave. Got to turn up the brightness. Did you bring me any snacks? Oh no, I don't. It's not that big. Can I get me? This thing is horrifying. Here we go. Let's get in this thing. Gotta pump up the pressure. I did it. I feel accomplished. That's such a satisfying noise. Okay, hell no. I really don't want to get wet. And this is all water. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what any of this does. Here, let's go. Let's go right here. My goodness! My goodness! Here we go, there's some over here. Like this thing. Now you can play with my friend Tic Tac Joe. Put your hand on his belly and he chooses the O. Why to win this game, get three in a row. And you. Okay. Let's try this over here. I did it. Okay. 